Hi guys, I'm checking in this week. Um, let's see here. So this week, I gave up refined sugars. Uh, I'm giving it up for 30 days. It was a challenge I did to myself. Um, it was really, I just have an issue with sweets. And I can tell you at the end of this week, it is not an issue right now. <laughs> I really don't, it's, it's, to be honest, it's gotten easy to say no. And seven days ago, if you had told me that, I wouldn't have believed you. Um, I think the day before I started my 30 day challenge, I had like three candy bars and ice cream and, uh, I probably had donuts for breakfast. I don't know. I just kind of went all out one of those, you know, last, last time kind of binges, I guess. I don't know. But, um, I, I love my sweets. And right now we were driving home. Um, my husband and I went and saw a movie and the flavor of the day at Culver's was something s'more. I don't know. And I said, Oh, that sounds good. And then I looked at him and I started thinking, I'm like, I can't even imagine how it tastes right now. This is so weird. Because normally, I would think about the s'mores and I go, mmm, creamy marshmallows and sorry, this is not really good if you guys are having issues with it right now. But, you know, I think about all the different flavors in there and how it would feel in my mouth and how it would taste and I couldn't even imagine it. So, it was really strange. And then we were talking about what I would choose to eat as my first sugar after the 30 days. Um, and that has totally changed because I said it wouldn't be a candy bar. It's not going to be a glazed donut because both of those, all I can think of is sweet. I don't get any flavors from it when I imagine it. It's just sweet. So I'm thinking it's going to be more something that's rich and has sweetener in it. Um, maybe like a rich dark chocolate mousse or, you know, something like that. I don't know. We'll see. It'll probably be... It'll probably be a piece of pizza. <laughs> It'll probably be something totally not even sweet. I don't know. It'll be interesting. I should film myself eating the first thing with sugar. I don't know what I'll do. But, so this week, uh, I found as the week went on, although I'm not changing anything other than not eating the refined sugars, um, I was much less focused on the calories I was putting in and just eating the good foods for me. It's a lot easier when I start my day with a bowl of oatmeal and a banana and it's only 250 calories versus a bowl of cereal which sometimes turned into two bowls of cereal and that would be 400-500 calories just at breakfast. Um, but I, I'm totally full on the oatmeal and now it's gotten to the point where I'm excited for my oatmeal with no sweeteners in it. I enjoy it and that banana is delicious. <laughs> um, so, I wasn't really counting the calories. I was still entering it on my fitness pal, but I wasn't obsessed with it because I was also not thinking, oh, I want that candy bar or that bowl of ice cream after dinner, so I need to save 400 calories. Oh, I only have 600 left. That has to count my 400 calories for my ice cream and 200 for dinner. You know, I wasn't cutting out on the good foods. I was eating all good foods. So... As a result of that, I was eating between 15 and 1800 calories a day. I was, um, for a long time, keeping it between 1200 and 1500. It was usually closer to 1500, but some days I kept it at 1200. I never went below 1200, and I always made sure to eat more than that. But, um, so I'm, I was eating more calories every day this week than I was the week before. The week before, I believe I gained one pound. This week, I lost five pounds. So, I have lost a total of 61 pounds now since January, which is awesome. Five pounds this week, I was super happy for. Like I said, I was eating more calories, so I didn't know what it was going to do on the scale. I felt like I had lost weight, but I wasn't sure what it was going to do because the numbers weren't adding up the way that I thought they would. But... I'm happy. Um, and then my fitness pal, I just have it here. I just enter what activities I do on here and it calculates the calories burned. I don't know how accurate it is. I don't usually eat back my exercise calories. That's just a deficit. Um, but according to my fitness pal, I burned 4,788 calories this week from working out. 
and that was done in 330 minutes. So I got quite a bit of workouts in, um, workout time in. So that's good. And let me see <laughs> what else. Things have totally changed for me as far as um, mentally this week. As the end of the week approached, I really noticed I'm a lot more patient with the girls. Um, things don't make me upset like they used to. My husband and I went to a movie today. Um, the movie was in a different town. We wanted to go see America and it's a bit of a drive away because it's only at select theaters. So we left and we hit construction and we hit rush hour and we were hitting every red light. We ended up getting to the movie 20 minutes late. I hate being late. I absolutely hate it. Normally, I would be just having a fit the whole way there going, oh my gosh, we're so late, we shouldn't even go. Uh, let's just go get ice cream instead. You know, normally I would be like just in a tizzy about being late. We showed up, we paid for our ticket, the guy goes, well, you better head on in quick. We sat down just as the movie started. Like, yeah, we didn't miss much of the movie even though we were 20 minutes late. And it was a great time with my husband and I had a great attitude throughout the whole thing. It's a political movie. My husband and I are on opposite ends politically and we can't usually have conversations about politics because it just ends up not a very fun conversation. We talked about the movie the whole way home. We totally disagreed on everything in the movie and I didn't get worked up on it. I was like, yep, I agree to disagree. So I think that has to do with the no sugar. I really do. Um, it's just making me more peaceful. And I think it also plays a big part that I am relying on God to help me with this giving up sugar, um, which you know, you go to God and he just gives you this peace about things. Um, so I think that has a lot to do with it as well. Um, so yeah, it was a really good week. I worked out, I ate healthy foods, and I lost five pounds. So I'm very happy. Um, and I got to go on a date with my husband. So, well, I think that's all for this week. And I thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. Again, please, if you start this challenge in the future, I'd love to hear how it goes for you, giving up sugar, um, and how you got through it. Because I found it really interesting at how easy it was for me because I was so scared to do this. I've really been thinking about doing it for over a year, I'd say, about how big sugar was in my life um, and how it shouldn't be that big. So I'd love to hear from you if you've done it or if you're planning on doing it. Otherwise, just like and subscribe to my video and you can watch my um, weekly updates. Right now I'm doing daily updates through this 30-day uh, challenge. Otherwise, it's just normally weekly updates on my weight loss journey. And I just, life is good, guys, and I hope you go out there and enjoy it. All right, bye.